My name is Karen Iwichow. I'm the Environmental Technician and Land Manager for TLC, the Land Conservancy of BC. And this is beautiful Spectacle Lake on Couch and Tribes territory up on the Malahat, and this is part of my backyard. This is part two of my three-part series on nature journaling, and this is Yogi Bear, my sidekick, and he'll be uh, working with us today on journaling. He's always really actually quite good at pointing out some really interesting things, especially my big love, mosses. So just before we get started, I just want to let you know who TLC is, if you don't already know. Uh, TLC, the Land Conservancy of BC, is a nonprofit charitable land trust working throughout the province of BC. TLC protects important uh, habitats for plants and animals and natural communities across the province, as well as properties with uh, historical, cultural, scenic, and compatible recreational values. This is part two of my three-part series on nature journaling, and in part one we talked about the history of nature journaling and learned that nature journaling is the um, process of recording your uh, thoughts, observations, ideas, uh, responses to nature on paper. And this has been something that we've been doing for a very long, long time. Um, I used uh, Galileo as one of my examples. Uh, he was somebody that used nature journaling to record his uh, observations of the moon in the sky and learn that we have lunar cycles, which is super interesting. So we can use these uh, observations to uh, learn more about our environment, uh, learn more about ourselves, and get more connected to the lands that we are on. And in this part, I will show you some methods on how to get started with your nature journaling practice. So I love nature journaling. I'm actually quite new at it. I've only been doing it for a couple of years. So in no way I'm an expert or uh, talented. And those are actually words that we should not even be bringing up here because this is not about uh, creating some perfect masterpiece. It's it's journaling. So it's it's your thought process, your your uh, reactions to nature. So this is more about the journey and the process than your output. And I love that so much for it. So my first trick I want to show you is something I actually learned from Leanne at the Robert Bateman's Nature Sketch program. And she pulled out a piece of matte paper from a photo frame. And this is a really cool way of uh, creating sort of like a, um, a boundary so you can uh, put this image down on paper. It's kind of daunting when you see this whole scene, you're like, oh, what do I want to put down? Well, put down what's in your frame. And it's nice because you can move your frame around and uh, see what you want to include in it. So let's draw something like this today and put that down on paper. This is really cool. So I just hold this up and I can see that the bottom third of my uh, frame has some water in it. We got a little bit of shoreline here. Um, our beautiful tree line and our sky. So I'm gonna hold this up and draw this down on paper. So we're gonna hold it up just like this. It's gonna look a bit different on the screen to what I'm gonna be drawing down just because of perspective. So there it is. I have used my matte uh, paper uh, to sketch out my scenery and of course I have to uh, put uh, my date, uh, place, and weather of course because those are all parts of observations of nature. So the other uh, trick I just wanted to share with you is something that I've been using on my own work and it's actually using a translucent piece of uh, plastic and this is something I've actually pulled out of my photo frame but if you still have CDs you can use uh, your CD case cover and the other thing you need is an erasable marker so I actually hold this up to the scene that I want to draw and I trace out uh, the line work and then use that to look through uh, when I'm trying to transfer that down on the paper and that's a really really uh, handy way to uh, to help get uh, your scene down into your notebook. So I'm not making a perfect picture of this. I'm just uh, quickly drawing those outlines and the shapes um, of the trees and plants and rocks and things that then um, I can kind of look on the paper and that helps me get the perspective down. Yeah. 
So what I've been drawing here is this little uh, mossy rock here, this big uh, dug fir, and behind it, you can't really see very well, but that's a drop stone or uh, glacial erratic. Um, what those are is actually really cool. Um, from the last ice age, the big glacier that was kind of flowing over Vancouver Island uh, was picking up stones and dropping them along the way. And so that's why when you're uh, looking around on the coast here, uh, you'll find uh, these big boulders that seem like they came out of nowhere or as if a giant had placed them down and that was something that kind of fell out of the glacier and uh, I really like them. They're super magical. <laughs> I hope those two tricks help you uh, get started with your nature journaling practice. I recognize that uh, drawing is just one aspect of uh, getting your journey started. Uh, a lot of folks like to write as well. Sometimes I do. Um, I just want to leave you with this um, page out of my nature journal uh, just to give you an example of what uh, one could look like. So this is my uh, page for Spectacle Lake. So this is just my little scene of what the water looks like. Um, I have my interpretation of what the chorus frogs sound like and I love them so much. They're super cute. <laughs> so, you know, it doesn't have to be something that is scientific. It could be just a response, and that's my kind of response. Um, I also wrote a poem. Uh, it's backwards on this camera, but I'll just read it out to you. The sawwhite owl in the tree says, toot, toot, toot. And the Pacific tree frog says, kerkeek, kerkeek. And the wind between the shore pine trees say, spring is coming. That's it for part two. I hope this has inspired you to start your own nature journaling practice. And if you're looking for more uh, tricks and games you can play on paper as nature journaling, join me for part three. I will be offering those. Until then, happy trails.